Hey, good morning, folks. Patrick Berge here. Uh, you know, I had been waiting in uh, Austin, Texas, uh, while uh, Minnie and, Millie and Gavin finished the documentary to uh, meet with uh, and be able to speak and meet to Alex Jones before uh, heading back to Florida. And uh, so I'm pretty much thinking this is a waste of time being here in Austin any further. Uh, you know, uh, Gavin tells me always not to read stuff into this, but uh, what I saw with Alex Jones yesterday was pretty kind of disappointing. One of his, uh, you know, one of his reporters, one of his colleagues, uh, although they are subcontractors, you know, I don't know if you saw the same thing as I did, but it seemed like he was pretty much in cover your ass mode the whole time. And that's the last thing I expected to see from uh, Alex Jones. And, you know, my correspondence with his people have been largely the question if it even was related uh, to it. Now, three people, a team of three journalists getting ready to upload or that just literally within minutes of uploading a, a documentary that's pretty damning uh, to the deep state and not a joke. I mean, this has been a thing I've worked on since 2015 before most of you guys even understood or knew what the hell Russian collusion was or fake news or fake personas was. I've been trying to fix this problem I've been trying to let our government know that the people I worked for broke the law, violated national security, and had me removed when I tried to protect it, which was my job. If you're a taxpayer in the U.S., you were literally paying me to do that, so you would think that you would have some concern by that, but that's not always the case. So, today... I'm going to head out, and this is going to freaking be a hard, long ride, but I'm going to head out and try to make it to Aust or try to make it to Ohio on my Harley by uh, Monday, if I can. Now, it's uh, 20 hours worth of drive, and that doesn't include, it's a 20-hour drive, and that doesn't include uh, stops. You know, every hour or so on the bike, you gotta freaking stop and shake things out a little bit, right? So, we're talking, it's gonna be a hell of a run. Not something I was planning, but I'm gonna try to be there by Monday, if possible, maybe Tuesday at the latest. That way, I can have the bike, the Mega Mobile Shadow Net Mobile, to where I can have all my equipment. And, and keep on this because right now a mother is in jail separated from her family separated from her children something you know democrats were all about uh and she's in jail for some bullshit if you believe that the three members of the the three journalists that were doing this documentary exposing the deep state were coincidentally picked up minutes after they uploaded the video and keep in mind they weren't planning to upload the video yesterday they weren't going to planning to be done with it until monday and so uh, i think that this was a preemptive action from what i've heard and i can't verify it this was this was something that they've been sitting on <clears throat> since april uh, and it makes no sense. And the timing of it, if you don't suspect the timing, hell, if Alex Jones, the biggest fucking conspiracy theorist on the planet, doesn't see this as an issue, well, he's fucking as dirty as I thought he was. Galvin and Millie assured me that he wasn't, that he was a straight up guy. We were concerned about people possibly around him. But they said he was a straight-up guy. Infowars was going to do the right thing with this. And I, something I didn't mention 
yesterday is that uh, as I was, uh, I think I might have mentioned it on Infowars, but as I'm sitting there talking to Gavin, Gavin's telling me that someone was going to be interviewing President Trump on Monday that was going to ask him about Shadowgate. And I said, uh, you know, that ain't gonna, they aren't going to let that happen. I said, you know, mainstream media ain't going to let that happen. Press Corps isn't going to let that happen, um, which I find disgusting. And uh, I said, should you guys be able to get even that close? Uh, there's going to be another ship that blows up in Beirut or somewhere to as a distraction because there ain't no way. And he's like, no, no, we're going to, we're going to, this is going to happen. Nothing's going to stop this. And literally, I'm on the phone with him. He's saying that as the police are rolling in. <laughs> Man, they, you know, we can't let this, uh, this is like absolutely astounding, right? It has not. You cannot tell me, and I'm the last, I'm not a conspiracy theorist type person. Everything I deal with, I kind of stick as best as I can to it relating directly to my original 2015 IG complaint, right? This isn't about me. I'm a hugely flawed individual. This is about finding the truth and following the facts and finding the truth wherever those facts lead you. Those facts led me to... Uh, Infowars, Alex Jones, not because of Alex Jones, but because of Roger Stone, who was a partner of General Jones and Dynology at the time I was releasing the ShadowNet, making it commercially available. <clears throat> Most of my time, seven plus years of my eight years with them, I spent overseas, so I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't know who they were selling it to or what was going on. That's up to law enforcement and American people to decide whether or not they want to look into that. All I'm doing is telling you the truth. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to be taking off on the bike here pretty quick. Instead of enjoying, enjoying a relaxing weekend with a friend that uh, I was planning on doing. And then, you know, we were going to release this on Monday. And I was planning at that point probably to do some interviews and stuff. <clears throat> that all changed. That all changed when I was talking on the phone with Gavin and law enforcement pulled up into their driveway on a farm in the middle of Iowa, Ohio, sorry, and uh, arrested them. Three people, Millie, her brother, and Gavin. Three people three of the four people that worked on the uh, on the project and the fourth person isn't even there wasn't even there they probably would have arrested him too I personally witnessed on the phone the law enforcement person telling Gavin that he was the only one they had a warrant for so what happened all of a sudden for them to need to call in more cars to bring more people in uh, this is shifty and shady as shit people and our freedom of the press is guaranteed freedom of the press is guaranteed by our constitution it should be protected by our government our government needs to step up because what's happening here right now is just smells bad as shit and to all those cowards out there coward journalists Dan Bongina Sarah Carter Judge Pirro the list is way too long for me to list I mean, literally in the hundreds of people that knew my story and for whatever reason chose not to investigate or report it or even refer it to someone else that might investigate it or report it. They either, A, were too much afraid, to, they were fucking cowards, or B, they just, you know, well, you know, I'll just get paid off for this and shut the hell up kind of think most of them were B. We'll figure all that out maybe later. If you guys care enough about this, if you're smart enough not to make this about my dumb ass and to make this about just finding out the truth, then our country's going to be a lot better off for it. If you don't, then our country's going to get everything it's got coming to it. 
Bongino and Piero and Carter, they will be they will go down as traitors. Traitors to the Constitution, traitors to the First Amendment, traitors to the freedom of press. It makes me sick. Prove me wrong. Bergie out.